Okay, so this, okay, who is that? Oh, it's Fiji. Okay, okay, okay. I was, we had Squid Pump, of course, on the left, Fiji, Pac-Man on the right. This is going to be a fun one, because this is not a matchup we normally see, since we're kind of only have a few sparse Pac-Mans here. Exactly. Pac-Mans, like, they appear, they clean house, and then they leave. That's just how it goes. The Mog Shout classic. Out to exactly. Shout out to Return the Slab. Exactly. Return the Slab. Best Twitter handle. <laughs> Very Second good. best Twitter handle. Shout out to Boat Jail. Uh, of course. Shout out to our stream runner. At the same time, yeah, we got Kershawn, we got, I believe, Ben in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we do have a few Pac-Mans here and there, and I feel like Squid Palmer has played Kershawn enough to understand the matchup to a degree. Agreed. So in between Zoner v Zoner, I want to see how he handles this, because... Uh, PG understands exactly what to do, though, and that might be dead. Oh, oh no, just hands. barely enough drag there. My man's got hands mm -hmm. of the magnet variety. And at the same time, though, a little bit deficit in terms of uh, percentage here for Squid Plumber. Fiji's doing a good job kind of setting up the usual Pac-Man traps. Has the fruit, has the hydrant. What else more can you really need? I like his vertical gameplay. Like, that's the one blind spot with these guys that they, they hit straight above them, but nothing at any kind of an angle. So yeah. if you're just up on top of Belmonts, like, the aerial just isn't usually good enough to cover you. And up of course, B, but that's not going to kill for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, Axe is very easily reactable, oh, yeah. so you can absolutely bob and weave. And you can stall yourself in the air with Hydrant, so you have so much counterplay available that, I'd say, you know, with full respect, ooh, okay, I was, I was expecting, like, hey, what are we going to see off of that? If you no got an uppie out of that, I would have popped completely off. That would have been so good. But as it stands, Pac-Man going to survive to healthy percent. I feel like that's kind of like the biggest weakness of Belmont. This character has like great neutral, tons of amazing ledge trapping, can't say enough about it. But the problem is it's just the kill options are not there. Oh, getting caught by the fire there. Yeah, we're taking this. Repeat. And hey, yeah, if, it, if it's first you don't succeed, try, try again. And that is the Squid Plumber motto is a simple F tilt. It's more than enough to take it. That's like the Belmont specials. Like, I, it's like, okay, my edge trapping missed. Let me just toss. Uh, again, just please. Spot three times in a row? More. <laughs> hey, why not? If it works, it works. Exactly. Gotta avoid the melon. The most tilting of fruit. Oh, oh okay. okay. That would have been sick. Each I like it. I like yeah. it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. There's like the meme of Pac-Man players being galaxy brained, and I understand that it is definitely a meme, but they all have their like unique traps. Like some Pac-Man's favor specific traps, and it's like, okay, what is this Pac-Man gonna go for? And I think we just saw it there. Pa back throw did not kill with no rage at 180. Good thing they can't buff this character. Thank God, yeah. This... <laughs> uh, you're dead? No, no you should give you just enough yeah. back. Pac-Man can recover from basically anywhere on the stage. Agreed. Isn't that S-tier recovery next to like Sora, you know? Oh yeah. Back there this time, not quite getting Dude, to it. Okay. Oh, barely, barely. Okay, a little bit of a shock from Squid Palmer. Maybe he air dodged, maybe he uh, missed the eye to just a hint, but it looked like he was gonna live, honestly. That axe comboed into the hole. <laughs> Very so good. terrible. Hey man, special items be doing work. Not gonna kill, of course. But still, I like the percentage lead. Squid Plumber basically just has to keep it moving and avoid silly this. little Pac-Man traps like that, which are very big percentage damage. Uh, it feels like Fiji's really going like hard for these these like hard reads at edge. And the problem in this matchup is that like if you're at a percent deficit, just go for the safe stuff. Mm -hmm. Because you can definitely camp out Belmont, but when you're getting hit by like stuff like Axe like off stage twice, you know you're being a little bit too safe or too comfortable in your options. He's opting to just pick up fruits and try to extend his game when he needs to pay attention to what Squid Plumber's doing. And that, that is a stock where it's very easily you, of course, correct that going into this game as you continue on. Like, you still got one stock left, so put it to good use, Fiji. Trying Ooh. to get the platform drop back here, but yeah, Squid Plumber absolutely has no desire to move forward. Gonna get yep, a force match, though, as Squid Plumber overcommits a little bit of that. B. And you're dead. Oh, Goodbye. Pac-Man's... I, I hesitate to say he's a lightweight, but he, he's definitely like he's definitely below like the Mario, I would say, of the weights. Yeah, middleweight, I do believe, but we will go ahead and I see that. I that. see that man going ultimateframeager.com. Yeah, that's, that's that. just how it works. I have the app, man. Hey. We evolve. It's true. Didn't someone in MDVA code that? Really? I, I don't know. I could, Tell me who that is because I could 100% I they, be lying. They definitely need a cut of my pros. <laughs> I'm 100%. On that I could be making it up as commentators do, but I feel like that's something that someone did in MDVA at some point. Squid Plumber, uh, quick little glimpse of him going through that motions. I mean, he had a pretty tight, uh, a tight and solid game plan in that game one. Fiji was kind of running into things here and there. I feel like if he plays a little bit more evasive and smart, uh, he won't get caught by those traps as much. Agreed. But at the same time, I think Squid Plumber still kind of has a general idea of what to do. And if the game plan be working, it'd be working, man. Though we are going to a stage that does favor killing off the top, which is interesting because, like, do you really want to allow Squid Plumber easier access to, like, upbeat kills? It's one of the few ways this character can kill consistently, so this is an interesting stage for it. He does have the walls, which means that he mm -hmm. can ledge trap for free, but still. More Vampire Killer Whip in action here as Squid Plumber's just throwing them out nonstop. 
Down there, not quite going to do it, but the down smash, good coverage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's see what you got off the Okay, again, it's trying to be a little bit more cognizant of uh, what the ledge traffic game of Belmont is and how to kind of avoid all those special projectiles. There it is, off the top, and Goodbye. that's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. yeah, we saw Squid Plumber like, basically being unable to kill unless you get like, a read or a good edge trap until like a solid 150, and now he just gets killed off 100 just because this up B, because the ceiling. At the very least, Fiji's getting a lot of knowledge in uh, what to do and how to avoid certain tricks and traps of Squid Plumber here. Agreed. And I like that really up there as well, catching Fiji out and avoiding getting gimped there. Hey, Randall you making a guest appearance hey, here, hey, buddy. Cool. Courtesy of the Hazards playlist. I will say that's the one. That's the one change I do like about Hazards on. Get the homies back. The homie is exactly. back. He's hey, he put in his work, dude. He still is putting in work. He deserves a spot here. Cloud 90 Sports, very own Randall. Hey, if it's everyone's here, Randall better be here too. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, 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 everyone is here, but Fiji kind of missing two stocks, in fact, because that sweet spot back air was more than enough to take the stock, and this is not looking good, Scabs. Yeah, I, I mean, I complained about this character in Belmont being unable to kill consistently, but the problem really is is that those sweet spots are solid. They're tiny, but Squid Palmer's spacing has been immaculate so far. Missing that grab and not really getting punished off of it because, you know, Hydra was nearby and Squid Palmer wasn't really in the kind of angle to do it. Oh, man, you're, you're dead. 86 Good is all it takes. God. And again, hey, that's why you don't go to Yoshi's because that small vertical blast zone will send you to the loser's bracket very soon. Exactly. Whew. But all so stuff. I do want to go ahead.